Hundreds of people will be lining up and down Woodward to check out the Dream Cruise today. You know, even though it officially starts today, it yeah. seems like it started like a week ago. Oh, people I know, because you can up. hear those engines revving. <laughs> no. Yeah, there's donuts on Woodward already. <laughs> the classic and modified cars on full display for car lovers to appreciate. Our brand new reporter, Shante Passmore, joining us now in Pontiac. She is at welcome. the end of the Dream Cruise. Shante, welcome hey. and good morning. We are so excited to have you as part of the team. I am so happy. Oh, round yeah. of applause. I love that. <laughs> Don't get used Nick to it. Nick and Priya, I am so happy to be here this Saturday morning. Oh, my goodness gracious. Thank you for the warm welcome to you, our, our, our team, of course, and, and the viewers have just been so lovely. And this morning, we are getting ready, of course, for the Woodward Dream Cruise. And if you're kind of concerned a little bit about the weather, we know how things are in Michigan. You know, one minute the weather's lovely, and the next it's not so lovely. Well, we are he here at M1 Concourse where if you're trying to get away from some scattered showers, you can come here and kind of go back in time a little bit. From what I'm gathering, there's going to be some sort of immersion experiences back to the 60s where there will be uh, tribute bands covering, uh, you know, from musicians and bands like the Beatles, Motown groups, of course, and something like the American Bandstand. But if you are coming out to the Woodward Dream Cruise, well, here's what you got to know. It is from 9 to 9. It is considered one of the largest one day celebration of classic car culture. It is free to cruise and watch. And it is, of course, on Woodward Avenue from Pontiac, where I'm standing, to Ferndale. So, Shanti, now that we have you here with us, there you are. Uh, you were telling me earlier in the newsroom that as growing, when you were growing yeah. up, your dad used to drag you to all the car shows. So this is... Perfect uh, experience. Right, this, this, you're no stranger to these things. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You know what? And and looking back on it, I loved it. But at the time, I was like, oh, my goodness, we're going to another car show. But every weekend, <laughs> almost whenever we could go, my dad would get us up super early before sunrise. And he would Aww. bribe us with donuts, which always worked. Yeah, and we yeah. go check out the, the cars. And my dad's a really big uh, a, a, a car guy. He's got a few classic cars himself. In fact, we did a trip in the summer a few years ago where we took his 1948 Buick Roadmaster oh, wow. shipped it to yeah. Jersey, took it on Route 66 back to California, which is where wow. I'm from. And it was just an amazing experience. Well, let me tell you, you, you wait till you see Woodward in just a few hours because it is going to be an incredible Definitely. sight to behold. And you've got great experience there. If dad has been taking you out to go see the cars, was, you're going to see a lot I of moms and dads out there I was just going to say, if, if you're uh, rattling off things from 1948, you yeah, just won the majority in. of the Motor City viewers here in Detroit. <laughs> you're good to go. Oh, I love it. I hope it. <laughs> All right. Can't wait to check back in we'll with you. We'll see you guys you. in just a bit. For sure. Thanks, Shante. Sounds good. Yeah, I know. I'm always like, oh, I like that one. It's red. <laughs> <laughs> that one's loud. Yeah. I like it. No, actually, now I'm like, oh, I want to look quieter. Oh, oh that muffler. The mm -hmm. older no. you get. In my old age. <laughs> <laughs>